Minecraft has been around for over a decade now, and that's given Notch and the gang over at Mojang plenty of time to put in a bunch of hidden features or easter eggs into the game. Today, we'll be looking at the history of Minecraft's easter eggs, some minor, some completely unknown, and others changing the face of the craft as we know it. This is Minecraft's history of easter eggs. I hope you enjoy. Back in November of 2011, when Minecraft 1.0 just released, it was already packed with hidden features. One of the first easter eggs ever was the title of the game itself. The Minecraft title screen had a 0.01% or 1 in 10,000 chance to say Minsraft instead of Minecraft. The saddest part is the fact that this has probably happened to most of us and we just completely missed it. In May, rumors began spreading about a certain blank-eyed Steve that would pop up in your Minecraft world, dig random 2x2 tunnels, and build pyramids. Of course, Notch had to address the issue of his dead brother haunting his game, and calm people down by secretly removing Herobrine in every update since. That is, until recently. The Minecraft disc titled 11 was Minecraft's 11th disc, and was 1 minute 11 seconds and 111 milliseconds long. Putting it through a spectrogram revealed a distorted Steve face, as well as C418, the creator's autograph. The April Fool's Day update for 2011 introduced a locked chest, that when opened prompted the player to buy a Steve Co. and supply crate key. Following the instructions to the Minecraft store opened a whole other can of worms. Clicking the proceed to checkout button triggered a screaming velociraptor from Jurassic Park, which would fly across your screen and yell at you, probably for trying to buy a Steve Cohen supply crate key, in which case that's justified. Not only that, if you proceed to check out with more than $10,000 worth of cool Minecraft collectibles, you would be greeted with a seizure warning followed by an epileptic light session for your viewing pleasure. Thanks Mojang, way to reward your best customers. Enchanting was also added in Minecraft 1.0, and while the symbols may look like complete gibberish, they're actually real decipherable characters, referencing the Commander Keen game franchise. Although, don't get your hopes up since once they're decoded, they're sadly just utter nonsense. Somewhere around May of 2012, a whole bunch of new splash texts were added. One of them read, This message will never appear on the splash screen. Isn't that weird? And true to its name, it is the only message programmed not to show. It just sits idly in the game files to this day. On September 6th, the final painting was added to Minecraft. And did you know they actually have lore? Like, look at this one, can you figure out what it is? Is it a desert with cacti? A salad? The inevitable arrival of death? No, it's actually a man wearing a fez in Albania. Yeah, who would have guessed? On Halloween, mobs in the nether now had a chance to spawn with pumpkins on their heads. And on Christmas, chests were retextured to be more festive. A skis file was also added to the code by Dinnerbone, but only as a red herring and not as an actual feature. On July 1st of 2013, Dinnerbone decided he wanted every mob with his name to be upside down. And to this day, changing a name tag to read Dinnerbone and applying it to nearly any mob in Minecraft will do just that. Now when your game crashed, it wouldn't leave you feeling confused, it'd leave you feeling confused and stupid, providing a crash report that, let's be honest, nobody understood. Also included within the crash report was a witty little remark, like who set us up the TNT, Oops, or my personal favorite, Would You Like a Cupcake? A reference to the hip pop culture trend at the time, Girl Scouts? Ah, nothing like some baked goods to ease my mind from this block game crashing for reasons I can't hope to comprehend. On October 23rd, added to the Xbox Legacy Console Edition was a pillar of four gold blocks, which spawned on an obsidian block in the middle of a desert temple in the tutorial world. Any guesses to its name? Well, this temporary structure was appropriately named the Tower of Pimps. Following Dinner Bone, Jeb also decided he wanted a mob easter egg named after him, and since that day, naming a sheep Jeb underscore would cause it to cycle through every single wool color in the rainbow. On June 6th of 2014, player XYZen420 contacted Ryan Holtz, a developer at Mojang, to request the addition of his girlfriend's lost pet rabbit Toast into Minecraft. Holtz kindly agreed to the request, 
and naming Rabbit Toast now unlocks a hidden skin as a wholesome memorial. Likewise, inspired by Monty Python, summoning a rabbit of type 99 would summon the Killer Bunny, which not only would kill you with cuteness, but with violence. Holy, that is a lot of damage! On September 2nd, Minecraft's female protagonist, Alex, was introduced. Her skin had a secret, however. It contained a bunch of transparent pixels that when changing the opacity to 100% revealed a bit of Steve's clothing, as well as a pair of glasses. On May 22nd of 2015, Notch sadly left Mojang, but just in time added another secret splash text, Notch Heart Easy, which was promptly removed the next day. Absolute savage though. On April Fools when 1.9 was supposed to release, the Love and Hugs update came instead, making me realize just how sad and lonely I really am. The update was full of a ton of hidden features. You can now craft obsidian boats that always sink, throw potions of sharing and caring that would cause mobs to drop random items, squids can now fly, you can fill up your love meter to play a Minecraft version of Minesweeper called Minescreeper, all particles are replaced with hearts, lava is now liquid cheese and can't hurt you, and so much more nonsense. One more notable feature was that upon opening a super flat world, the snowfall would generate a QR code around 00, zero that when scanned would reveal to you the actual name of 1.9, the combat update. Yuck. On October 14th, the splash text 0% sugar was secretly changed to read 1% sugar. Why? I have no clue. 2% coming soon? Y you hear that? That's the new Cave Sound 14 that was just added. Or as I like to call it, the Makes Me Piss My Pants Noise 14th edition. Which when taken through a spectrogram, reveals a distorted creeper face. Spooky. Did you know Jeb is a simp? Yeah, polar bears were added because his wife liked them. My life is a lie. Also, this was coincidentally around the time that Jeb's son Bjorn was born. Bjorn meaning bear in Swedish. This year's April Fool's update was the trendy update. The update introduced USB charger blocks that emit redstone, ankle monitors that can't be taken off in survival, reality vision so you can escape the real life that is Minecraft, a smartwatch, and a revamped sign texture. A more little known fact is that this update also secretly hinted at the rise of famous YouTuber George Not Found in a few years time. On September 8th, the Evoker was added, with the secret ability to change blue sheep red, while making a cool little sound, a reference to the game Age of Empires. Illagers named Johnny with a name tag now try to kill any peaceful mob around them, a reference to the 1980 thriller movie, The Shining. Typing excited ZE, the IGN of a former Mojang employee, into the recipe book changes the language to pirate speak which leads to many funny item translations. Prior to the release of 1.13 in January of 2018, typing slash help into a command block would result in various joke responses appearing in the response terminal, and typing sarge into a command block would return hashtag it's lipo futsly. I completely said that wrong, but I have no idea how to say it. The banner pattern thing was added with a rather strange and seemingly random name. It begins to make more sense, however, when you see it's actually old Mojang logo. Mojang being a Swedish word that means gadget or thing. The April Fool's update for 2019 was the 3D update. The devs joked about it being a secret copy of Minecraft from 1990. It's full of old-fashioned imagery, flaming barrels that explode when you take items out of them, a really horrendous and yet charming GUI, and references to many 90s games, particularly Doom. Until April 23rd, or the texture update, you could find watermarks in several mob textures. In unused areas of the two guardian textures, for example, you can find Jeb's name. In armor stands, you can find Sarge and Jappa's names. And in Pigman, rest in peace, you can find the words Thanks Zephobia, which is Notch thanking the player Zephobia for suggesting the idea of the zombie Pigman in the first place. You will not be forgotten. To celebrate Minecraft's 10th birthday, on May 17th, 2019, all cakes would have the number 10 above them. 
Before June 14th, when the updated launcher released, there were tons of hidden easter eggs in the old one. Hover over the play button for a while and a random mob would pop up in the bottom right. The top left had a transparent creeper face that had a 1 in 11 chance of being a shrug emoticon instead, and pressing Control plus B would play the experience or pickup sound. To spread awareness of <laughs> a certain pandemic going around, a bunch of new splash texts were added containing helpful messages, like reminders to wash your hands and take care of your elders. Most of the audio samples for the Crimson Forest Nether Biome were actually made with balloons. Can you hear it? The sound engineers thought of the compression of something leading into its unwilling reinflation was a creepy process, and when they phrase it like that I would have to agree. 2020's April Fool's update was perhaps one of the best ones ever. The Infinity Update. The Infinity Update added exactly what its name suggests. Infinite Dimensions. You could sign a book, throw it into a portal, and bam, a new dimension was made. This is Dimension Weefies, for example. It crashes your game. Fitting. There are tons of easter egg dimension this update, namely Ant, Content, Colors, Message, Missing, Fleet, Sponge, Secret Message, Terminal, and holy crap, so many more. In July and September of 2020, seeds for pack.png, the default resource pack icon, the Minecraft title screen world, and the seed of this frickin' painting background were all found by the Minecraft at Home project. Super duper impressive. And just recently, in February of 2021, the same project also discovered this. A 23 block tall, naturally generating cactus. That's crazy. And that pretty much covers almost all the easter eggs in Minecraft. I say almost because the coolest thing about all of this is that there could still be other easter eggs out there that haven't been discovered yet. Just like the three $15 Amazon gift card codes I've hidden throughout this video. Hope you enjoyed, thanks so much for watching, and please consider subscribing.